Hey everyone, this is Rag here and inside of this video, I will be guiding you on how to optimize your mouse for the best performance and input delay for any game including Fortnite and Valorant. This is going to help you get rid of any stutters or delays that you might be experiencing and a lot of people use the wrong settings when it comes to their mouse, especially using RGB. So without any further ado, let's get straight into this video. So first I'm gonna be showing you guys how you can optimize your mouse software and then we're gonna be moving on to the general settings recording your mouse, helping you achieve better mouse control and overall lower latency. So go ahead and open up your mouse software. For me, I'm using the Red Dragon M808 mouse, so this is my mouse software. Now the very first thing that I would highly recommend you to do is turning off any RGB effects right here. The reason for this is actually quite simple and if you're using RGB, you're essentially adding more latency to your mouse. So for the best accuracy, I highly recommend you to go ahead and turn this off. However, if you want to keep it on, then maybe keep it on while you're not gaming and only turn it off while you game so in that way you can enjoy both the RGB effect as well as the low latency whenever you want. Then moving on to the DPI settings and for me personally I have always found that 1600 DPI has worked the best for me however it might be different for you but I would highly suggest you to give it a go and I'm pretty sure most of you are gonna like this one. As for the report rate this one is really important. By stock it should be set to 500 hertz however that's not the right setting and you should always set it to 1000 Hertz. So go ahead and open up your software and make sure that the report rate or it might be called polling rate in your case is set to 1000 Hz. So once you have set this to 1000 Hz, that's basically it. Now you can go ahead and close out of your mouse software and now we have successfully optimized it. Now we can go ahead and move on to the more general Windows settings and mouse settings. So go down to your start menu once again and this time search for mouse. Go ahead and open up the mouse settings and inside of here go under the related settings and click on additional mouse options go into the pointer options and the first thing that you want to do is make sure that enhanced pointer precision is unchecked and then go ahead and scroll this all the way to the left and then using the arrow keys on your keyboard go ahead and move it five times to right so that would be one two three four and five and now it should be on the sixth dot right here click on ok it's going to apply it and basically that's it now you should be able to enjoy a much smoother experience with your mouse however we are not just done yet the next thing that you're gonna need to do is download the mouse optimization pack from my website and the link can be found in the description down below. Basically when you will open my website there should be a new post right here at the top and all you guys would need to do is click on the name of that post then scroll down and click on this download button right here and it should redirect you to the Mediafire page. However for some people it might open up an ad in a new tab so go ahead and close that ad because I need to feed my kids and I need your money through your clicks. So yeah go ahead and close Close that ad, click on the download button once again and it should open up the Mediafire page. Then you can go ahead and click on this download button and you should be good. Once that pack is downloaded, it's in a zip format so you can go ahead and extract it using 7-zip, WinRAR or whatever you want, even using a banana if that's what you prefer. Anyways, go ahead and extract it. Once it is extracted, go ahead and open it up, open up this folder and the very first thing that we're gonna be doing is disabling the power saving features on our USB. Who needs those, right? So right right click on it, run it as administrator and then just let it do its work. I have automated everything for you so your lazy ass don't have to move. So once that is done go ahead and double click on the boost responsiveness.reg file, hit yes, hit ok and that should be it. Now moving on to the mouse fix, there's actually a little thing that you need to do before applying any of these registry tweaks and that is to right click on your desktop, go into the display settings and then go ahead and make sure that this scale and layout is set to 100% recommended. Once that is done, close out of this, open up the 100 dot reg, double click on it, hit yes, hit ok and now you are done. You can close out of this, delete this pack if you no longer need it, which I mean yeah, you no longer need it anyways. But with all of that done, you should be able to experience a much smoother mouse and lower latency in any game that you play, whether it be Fortnite, Valorant, Call of Duty or Minecraft or even Minesweeper. So if this video helps you in any way shape or form then make sure to leave a like on this video and also subscribe to the channel for more and if you want to go ahead and increase more fps get more performance and do all of that good stuff then check out this video right here for fortnite but if you play valorant and you're a cool player then go ahead and check out this video right here regardless of which one you choose just go ahead and choose one because i'm desperate yeah, the video hasn't ended yet. The video will end when you click on one of those videos, right?
ओके थैंक यू